welcome back to another episode. My name is Reni Leinekers, registered dietitian at Inborn Santa Dietitians, and today's episode will be on how to eat healthy on a budget. Now there's this misconception out there that you can't follow a healthy diet and be on a budget because healthy foods are just way too expensive. Now this is completely not true and that is why I want to shine some light on this topic today to show you that you can be on a budget and look at how you spend your money but still honor your health through good nutrition. So a healthy balanced diet includes lots of fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and your healthy fats. And it's actually really easy to include these types of foods in a budget friendly way. So the first thing that I found quite helpful when it comes to healthy eating on a budget is to do some meal planning. Now meal planning is basically where you plan out your meals for the week so that you know exactly what are you what you're going to eat and when are you going to include more leftovers and i promise you it makes life so much easier and it really helps you to stay within budget now meal planning doesn't have to be a complicated process you can start off with firstly making a list of recipes that you know you and your family enjoy that's quick and easy to make and that's made up out of simple ingredients that you know falls within your budget and then from this list of recipes you can use that to fill out your week so that you know exactly what you're going to prepare for that night and you can even bulk uh, cook some of the recipes to use the next day as a lunch or as a dinner even the next day the second thing that is really helpful and it kind of follows on step one is to make a shopping list from the meal plan that you just created. Now, if you have a shopping list, it's much easier to also only get the ingredients that you need for that week and not to buy unnecessary products that most likely is just going to stay in the fridge and eventually go off, which is literally throwing money away then. So a shopping list really helps us to stay within budget and to know what to get for that week. My next tip would be to try and pack yourself a nutritious lunch from home. Now this can either be from last night's leftovers and that is where the meal plan will come in handy as well to plan for those extra leftovers to take uh, to work for lunch the next day or to have ingredients in your fridge and in your cupboard to make a nutritious meal to ensure that you always have lunch at work. This will reduce those urges to order something on the spur of the moment when you're starving after all the meetings, which will also help you to save a lot of money. Another tip would be to try and make most of your takeout foods from home. This will help you to save a lot of money it can be more nutritious and I also think it can be really fun for the whole family. So go and research some fun curry recipes, chow mains, and even some pizza recipes and try to make that on the next takeout day. As mentioned in the beginning, a healthy balanced diet includes lots of fruits and vegetables. So in order to include lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet and stay in budget, it's important to get fruits and vegetables that are in season. So there are lovely resources online to tell you exactly what fruits and vegetables are in season at what time of the year. So try to stick to that. And then also, uh, if you are lucky enough to have a farmer's market close by, that's also a good place to get really affordable fruits and vegetables that are in season. So go do some research as well and see if there's anything close by that you can get your fruits and vegetables from. Now if you feel that you're constantly throwing out spoiled fruit and vegetables because you weren't able to get through it all in time, there's nothing wrong with frozen fruits and vegetables or even to buy fruits and veg in bulk if you find them on special and freezing it yourself. So that's also a helpful way to save a lot of money but also to ensure that you get enough of your very important fruits and veggies in. My last tip would be to swap out some of your 
more expensive proteins like meat, chicken and fish with something a bit more affordable like your beans, legumes, dairy and eggs that can still provide your body with enough protein to nourish the body but it saves you a lot of money. So I encourage you to go and try some of these tips and tricks that I just shared so that you can see for yourself that it's definitely possible to stay within your budget but still eat a healthy and balanced diet. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. If you want more advice, please contact us and then we will see you in our next episode. Bye.